believe, therefore I am, King Siler. Hope you're doing all right today. As you can see here today, we have a very special guest, the one and only Rift. Round of applause for this young man, Rishi Desai. Did I say that right? Yeah. Yeah, there it is. You know what I'm saying? Hakeem Jamal Desai. Two black names. So, technically, might as well. But it is what it is. <laughs> not, not important. But I appreciate y'all rocking with us this evening. So, again, you can clearly see the title. We are here this weekend, September the 11th. We have the encounter that is being brought to you by Judge and Zephra. Popping versus Crump. So, I thought the best way that I could tackle this particular topic and what is to be expected or maybe some insight is to bring in somebody, you know, who's the experienced in popping and has is one of the so very few like myself who actually have taken time into the crump community but also diversifies from one genre of dance obviously as i've stated before mr rift how you doing mr rift appreciate you being good. here brother. a little mm. tired but i'm good i'm ready <laughs> excellent 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 so yeah so we're gonna we're gonna, we gonna talk about this so what are, what are your what are your your thoughts off of this so far? Like just off of just looking at this, because I as we've talked about before in, in previous videos, we've already seen the popping versus crump before. What are we thinking about this one? I think it's going to be interesting because from what I'm understanding, it's more exhibition mm -hmm. than it is an actual bracket. Right. So it's going to be interesting to see like how these styles go head to head and how these dancers display their techniques mm. okay. in an exhibition, yet a battle format. Okay, absolutely. Now, in a, so of course, and we do have two. We have both. You have the brawl, and then, of course, you have the exhibition battles. So there's, there's setup. So, so off rip, without even looking at any details, what are your thoughts? So who are you leaning towards here? Poppers or crumpers? Oh, uh, that's difficult. <laughs> oh, that's difficult. Cause... Well, let, well, let's break it down. So, in, in the brawl, let's let's look at that first, because I think, in my personal opinion, the brawl is what what draws me to this event so much. Okay. So, when we look at the brawl, who, who are you leaning towards? Well, I guess I would have to understand the format of the brawl better. Like, mm -hmm. like, what do you mean by brawl? So, the brawl, um, based off of how I've come to understand it, it will be, you know. Let's see, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's eight on eight. And so, let's see. Uh, yeah, eight on eight. Um, and it's basically just going to have crumpers on one side, poppers on the other side. You know, they play one popping track, both dancers dance to one, you know, and then it, the pattern repeats like the entire time. Gotcha. And, it, and of course, it, it should have a crump track as well. So it's going to be both dancers are going to have the opportunity to, you know, to get out there. From what the only thing that I'm simply pushing for is that it's not orchestrated. Like right. who's go out there? Like I'm I'm hoping like it's a very fast paced and energetic right. exchange between two genres of dance. So looking at that format, who are you leaning towards? If we're thinking fast paced, I I feel like I would give it to the Crumpers. Really? I think so, just because there's a certain energy that you feel around Crumpers that Crumpers give each other. Mm -hmm. And it kind of pushes you to let go more and just like release. Dang. You know what I'm saying? Right. Whereas I feel like poppers are more, um, I guess, more comfortable with with really thinking, staying in their pocket, mm -hmm. and building on top of their stuff. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? Right. Um, sometimes it's not necessarily a release of energy because they want to be clean. They want their story to be told. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Um, so, in that sense, I would probably lean towards the Crumpers. Because okay. I feel like my best rounds have come when I've released, and that release is similar to the feeling that I felt when I kind of got off in a Crump round. Gotcha. Well, that definitely makes sense. So, kind of looking at this, so I have the list here. So, team captains are Soldier Judge. And uh, uh, for the Crumpers, and they have Bully Rock Solid, we have Baby Rock Solid, Girl Rock Solid, J. Judge, Superboy, 
Young Judge, and Craze. And then the team captain for the Poppers is uh, Escal- Escalto. Escaletto. Escaletto. Word. Okay. And then we have Popping Creed, Chase Boogie, King Leo, Zabala. Hope I'm saying that right. Ghost, Atap, and Carl. So does that does that change or waver your opinion about it? Because like, and I, I even said previously in, in my video, like a lot of, with respect to the Crumpers, a lot of them they're all new. Right. Except for like three of them. Right. You know. So as far as like in this type of format, like. It looks like there's a lot of veteranship or a lot of experience on, on the popper side, so. I agree. I think now that I have that list, it makes things a little bit more complicated mm. because I feel like everyone that you mentioned, they've also known each other for a while, so I feel like they are able to bring out the best in each other. The chemistry is going to be better. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Most definitely. Okay. Any uh, any particular one that you think that you'd match up on there? Like out of the start with the poppers, like any any anyone that you would look for that you think is probably who, who's the most lethal person and you personally, not playing favoritisms or anything like that. But who's the most lethal person on on that on the popping list? Say the say the list again. That's Kelto. Okay. Popping Creed. Okay. Chase Boogie. King Leo. Zabala. Ghost, ATAP, and Carl. Okay. So, uh, I haven't seen much of Zabala. Okay. Also, I haven't seen much of Ghost, but I know Ghost is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I would probably say Chase Boogie and honestly, ATAP. ATAP, he's very like feeling based. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, he could feel, so when he gets down, um, it may not be the most technical, per se, mm -hmm. but you could feel that shit. Like, he gets right, the right. crowd going, you know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I feel like that'll push everybody else, too. So, in an energy and feeling aspect, I would say probably ATAP. But, as far as technical, um, Chase Book is cold. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I think out of the, the crumpers from what I'm seeing, it's, I would say, I haven't seen Craze in a while. Um, he is definitely the most experienced person um, on this list. I know Superboy is an, an, an OG, um, but respectfully, you know, he, he hasn't been very consistent in, in these last couple of years. Um, but as far as like, consistently I've seen him at this point, I think J. Judge. I think it's probably going to be the most lethal, in my opinion. Well, now you know what? I'm going to go with Craze. I'm going to go with Craze. Because I ain't seen Craze in a while. He might just have that wow factor, man, which is one thing that I I never sleep on when it comes to Crumpers. So, and he ain't battled in a while. So, I think I'm I think I'm looking for So, maybe Craze versus ATAP would probably be, that might be the one. Maybe, maybe we, we can get that one on the dance floor. Because Craze is very... It's very smooth, like his his rounds are very. They're not too intricate, but as far as like the delicacy and like, like just the subtlety he puts around his rounds, like it's just, it's just smooth transition. You know, not necessarily too many lows or anything. Not necessarily the most liveest person, but it's like when you look for a nice, smooth, solid round, that's the one right there. So I think maybe maybe some of that. That subtlety and that essence versus some uh, some smooth criminal demeanor on the dance floor that that might be the that might be the match. So hope hopefully we, we put that in that we put that in perspective. But I'm, I'm also looking forward to a Skeletto battle mm -hmm. because I know he's been training a lot. I've been seeing his stories. He's been training a lot, mm -hmm. and I really do think that he's kind of slept on in, in a sense because. I do feel like his creativity and his structure is unique in his own way, mm. you know? So I'm definitely looking forward to what he brings out too. Okay. More and more. All right, well let's let's look at some of these uh some of these popping the exhibition battles. Okay. Now these have kind of 
I'm not gonna lie, these kind of pulled me in. At first, I'm not gonna lie, shouts out to Judge and Zephyr. I was sleeping a little bit, but then when I started seeing some of these, I was like, okay, okay, these, these could work. So the first one we have, Judge versus Zabala. So I'm not familiar with Zabala. I don't think I am either, unless, I, I don't know if I've Cause I, if, a picture of him or something. Maybe I've seen him, I just, it's not clicking in my head. Cause there's definitely a flyer. Let's let's look at these flyers, cause Judge is on there. Wait, is so is Judge Danger? Is about is is Danger Zavala? Or is that those two different people? They're two different people. Okay, cause it recently gets it's changed on here, cause I show that it's the list now is is Judge versus Zavala. Oh, is Danger not battling? Maybe not. Oh. I don't know. Danger's cold. That would have been cold. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm sorry. Judge X versus Zabala. Y'all gotta put okay. it in bold. Like, don't put it in lower cases. I was I was confused. So, Judge X versus Zabala. Okay. Hmm. I haven't seen Zabala. Oh. I, I don't know who either. that is. I don't think I know who that is. I'm gonna pull up a flyer. Okay. I'm gonna pull up a flyer. Okay, because that. Zabala. It's on Facebook, right? Yep. Prince Wayne. Uh, Junior Judd. Two Kilo. There's no flyer. Hmm. Yeah, there's no flyer. Wait, Judge X versus Sim. Is that what I just said? Y'all confusing me. I gotta get this shit together, bro. Do you know where the, uh, the flyer is for it? Yeah, Zabala. Yeah, that's right. No, that's right. Yeah, Zabala. Yeah. So maybe they made some. They made some changes. So that's what I'm, I'm looking at right here. The whole list. So, Judge X versus Zabala. Uh, the next one that they have is Zephyr versus Kato. What about that one? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um dang that one's gonna be interesting too uh i don't know i actually don't know i i think i think kato is really solid um in his approach to popping mm -hmm. um i think he has a lot of tricks mm -hmm. he's very like trick heavy right. which is not a bad thing it's a thing, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. Everybody has a thing. Yeah. Um, but he has a lot of tricks, a lot of um, like finger tutting and tut concepts and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's in Animated Minds, if I'm not mistaken. Really? So it makes sense. But if he's not, I apologize. <laughs> I'm not too versed um, in the Houston popping community. Yeah. But yeah, he's really creative. So that'd be a, that's gonna be a dope battle. Mm. I'm not sure. Um, I've actually seen Zephra pop more than Crump. Mm -hmm. I've seen her enter a lot of popping battles. I'm pretty sure I've battled her too. Mm. And she's she's nice with it, you know? Right. So I think you're gonna have to go into, I guess, how you feel about Zephra as far as Crump. I think the, well, the last time that we saw Zephra Crump, um, in an actual battle was around this time last year when she did King of the Ring and she battled um, she battled um, royalty um, and she was still in a sense getting her feet wet you know kind of making that transition as far as you know obviously most dancers or I definitely know as far as like again like if you don't know if you don't if you know you know but as far as like again like we said like poppers everything has to make sense there's a certain line that you have, to, or narrative that you have to follow, or storyline. You can't just like drop off the edge of the earth and just do something crazy like Crumpers can. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, throw my hat in the air, catch it, chest pop, and then start wilding out. <laughs> you know, it don't work like that for poppers. Um, so it was like her understanding of like when to kind of switch into, you know, like to kind of take it up to the next level was like was the biggest thing. So. Um, since then, I haven't really seen her consistently crump like that or like battle. Um, so I personally think 
if she's mastered, which I would assume in a year's time, and I know Judge is not no slacker, neither is Zephra. Um, I think though she'll definitely have kind of fixed that, um, in my personal opinion. So I don't know. It it it, it personally, in my opinion, like I think it'll, it's it's going to come down to like who's who finds her bag first, or who's more prepared. That's a good one. Yeah. I do I do personally think that. Kato has a little bit of an advantage because he's not switching his style. Yeah. You know what I'm saying he's been doing experienced what, in what he does. Exactly. You know, Zephyr's having to adapt, but who no. knows? You know, yeah. So it's, it's definitely kind of up in there. Um, then we have Killer Judge versus Kuma. Oh, Kuma's nice. Kuma. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kuma's mm-hmm. waves are are really nice. His pathways and his traces and how he incorporates them into the style of popping. Mm. He's nice with it. He's creative. Okay. Okay. And is, is Kuma, is that the, is that the, is he an OG? Mm, I know. I think or am so. I thinking about somebody But else? I know he's uh, part of Item Number Funk. Okay. Okay. Well, I want to say I've, I've heard of him a couple times before. I've just never had the opportunity to meet. I got to really got to meet some of you Houston guys because I really don't know who some, some of y'all are. All right, then we have uh, Iron Man versus Flossie. Flossie? Okay. Um, I've seen Flossie. Flossie's nice. Yeah. Flossie's nice. Flossie's nice. He's nice. I think... Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a good battle. And it's, it's pretty even because Iron Man's OG as well. Yeah. Iron Man's been around since... Like, he's one of the, uh, the original 30 as far as, like, in the crump and... and if I'm not mistaken, the South, Southern region. So, Flossie is one of those people who I feel like he has that feeling mm-hmm. and energy, mm-hmm. but he also has that technical application. Background. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and I haven't really had the opportunity to like see him get down, get down mm-hmm. in a minute. So, I'm actually looking forward to seeing him get down, just get down. So who who you got now? Because I the last time I saw him was at the lock in Houston. And yeah, I'm pretty sure was he at the the last jam that you were at? Yeah, at he was. Cipher? But I think he was just ciphering. Oh. Yeah. Um. Dang, I don't know much about Iron Man. I don't remember much about Iron Man. Hmm. He was in when you were dead. He was kind of in my age during that time, and then he moved to California for a little bit. Oh, okay. So he's been kind of. A lot of our OGs, you know, when they they, they transition now, they transition now. He's still active now, yeah. and I'm pretty damn sure he's going to be ready for this. Uh-huh. But I'm kind of leaning with Flossie, man. I kind of do, too. I kind of <laughs> do, too. I'm kind of leaning with Flossie. I, I, hate I, actually, be... I actually want us to be wrong, though, because mm-hmm. that's what makes it so interesting. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But I definitely think, I mean, I always lean towards Flossie. Mm-hmm. Because I, I definitely think, like, one thing I've seen from Flossie, like, he kind of, which, in my personal opinion, would be kind of like a dream match. I'd like to see him in Cosmic Battle. Really? I would. Because as far as, like, one thing I noticed, like, when I was at the, um, the lock-in, he doesn't, he transitions through music very well, in my opinion. Maybe not the same way as Cosmic does. But it's like Cosmic is another person to where it's like, okay, it looks like there's no struggle in terms for you and when it comes to music adaptation. So it's like like watching that, I'll be like, you know, that'd be an interesting battle to watch in my opinion. So that's why I, know, I think that's the biggest part for me. Because I've never seen Iron Man adapt to different genres ever, but I've seen Flossie do it a couple of times. See, I haven't seen Flossie adapt in a sense. Like mm. I've always seen him get down to like funk or popping, right? right? Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be really interesting to see because, and actually now that you bring up like cosmic, I always thought like they're kind of two different elements in a sense, you Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like Flossie is a little bit more like, like earthy, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) Right, right, right. Whereas cosmic, I would see as more like airy, floaty, you Mm -hmm. know, like wavy, obviously. Right. So that would be an interesting matchup. Okay. Yeah. Poor okay. word. All right. Then we got Rock Solid versus J Funk. Yeah, that's gonna be 
It's gonna be dope. That one, I really don't know. But if gun to my head, I think I'm gonna have to go rock solid on this one. Only because I've, I've seen rock solid in so many environments. So I don't think he'll be as caught off guard to funk style music. And he already kind of, he even danced it on his own page. So, and respect, I mean, come on, this is black culture, baby. It's black culture, come on, see? <laughs> the, the funk is, is there, so I, I don't do think that, that he's gonna be caught off guard by it. And if I know Rock Solid, Rock Solid are, is gonna be- He's danced to, I mean, I remember I battled him at the first, um, as far as popping, I know Kilo's a little bit newer to the style. Mm -hmm. So, in a sense of maturity, I'd probably lean towards Two Buck. Mm -hmm. I know Two Buck's been, I don't know how active he is still, mm -hmm. but I know, like, I want to say. A he's, he's, been a, he's been a little in my I, I would say he's, he's been kind of what we, the term we use is underground in the crumb scene for probably about like maybe a year or two, I would say. So okay. Yeah. I don't know. Two Buck is cold. Two Buck is cold, I've seen him battle, I battled him, he's cold, mm. you know what I'm saying? I think, like, he has that, that buck, buckness, you mm. know what I'm saying? Right. And that raw feeling. Um, and he's technical, too. He has a lot of vocabulary and, and variation in the way he does his foundations, if I'm not. Right. So, um, Kilo, he's dope. Creative, and I know he can do multiple styles, so I know he can adapt to different styles of music. But, like I said, I feel like he is a little newer to popping, so I don't know if that will hinder him or it'll work to his advantage. I gotta go with two buck. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go with two buck. I, I think I'll go with two buck. Too. I, I'm going with two buck because I I did watch. Um, I think they had like some. What they had like a small event uh, just recently to where it was like was it two a two on two jam? I yeah, think it was a two on two. Was it was no? Was it the one that was uh, one older jam, one newer jam? I think so. If I'm not mistaken, okay. I could be. But I, I remember watching him, and I was kind of—I was—I had never seen him before. I mean, he could definitely dance, obviously, you know. But I was just like that maturity, that snap, exactly. like that delivery, exactly. like no matter where you go, like people always have like that that stage presence, and, like that level of execution and that intensity whenever you dance. And respectfully, not to say that he's bad and I'm like that kilo, but I just saw that I was like it's not quite there yet. And so I, but I definitely think Two Buck has that because Two Buck has been on the biggest of stages, in my, especially when it comes to our genre of dance. And obviously Houston is a very diverse scene out there. So you're gonna get some of like the best of the best out there. So I'm gonna go with the experience to go to, but <laughs> this one completely, so. For sure. Okay, and then next we have Judge versus Danger. Oh damn, that's difficult. Um, dude. It can be really crazy. How is um how is um how is like danger in terms of like cipher etiquette or as far as like you know like because like if this is gonna be a brawl, I, one of the biggest factors that I definitely said when I was doing the original predictions is that respectfully like. I personally just don't think and I don't see in any logical way how poppers are going to be able to match the energy that crumpers bring, but I do believe that they will be able to match them in terms of dancing capabilities as far as like, again, crumpers get off versus a poppers get down. I think that's going to be like their biggest tool. So how's dangerous get down? Because I, I don't see like a very, I don't see it being a wise choice as far as like, okay, 
know, Judge gets out there and throws out a crazy ass round, and then Danger comes in there and starts like hitting him with some tuts. That ain't gonna get it. It's gonna be kind of like you're doing a cop out by trying to like go for fancy moves. I think it's definitely gonna. I think it's definitely gonna push him out of his comfort zone. Okay. Um, cause when I've seen him battle, it's been very like he can bring that intensity, mm-hmm. but it's in a very like controlled way. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not very explosive per se. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah, it's it's very controlled. Mm-hmm. Um. So, I don't know, to be honest. I don't know how it's going to go. Gotcha. I, I would, honestly, I would give it to, if I were to go with anybody, just based off of experience, and based off of what you said, I would go with Judge. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't sleep on Danger, because if he comes with the right material, and if he actually gets down, because mm-hmm. he, he, he can... What I've seen from Danger, he's very good at acting to music. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's very creative in his choices mm-hmm. and his concepts. Mm-hmm. So if he's able to stay in that bag and maybe up the intensity, mm-hmm. yeah. Interesting, interesting. I like, and it's weird. It's and this is one of the few times that I'm grateful for the, the experience that I have because it does definitely sound like we're definitely looking at two tacticians because Judge is definitely, you know, combo heavy, uh, material heavy as well. Um, he's not necessarily, like, obviously he can dance, but he's not a, one of those people that, like, just simply, like, feels the music, like, you know, or, like, caters to it the entire time. Like, he's a very, he's a sharpshooter. You know what I'm saying? He's in there to, like, make his points so he can get in the round and then get out. Um, I feel like danger is the same way. Exactly. So it's like, you know, we're dealing with two tacticians on both sides. So I guess who I mean, snipes first? Watching, yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is fucking Call of Duty. Who smacks hard? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Alrighty. And then we have a very high profile battle here. We have Spartan versus Camo. I'm going to go with Camo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey. I can't even be I'm mad at you. I'm always going to back camo. Huh? I said, I'm always going to back camo. There we go. There we go. All right, let's turn these mics off. Now, <laughs> now for, <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. So, like, how the... And, of course, you know, I've, I've, again, I grew up watching Spartan, obviously, and then I grew up around camo as well. How do you see this one playing out? Because these, I can tell you off rip, these two are very... They're the exact opposite of the former, you know, the two we just like, uh, Danger and Judge. They both can be tacticians, but the, both these dudes can really dance. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, how, how do we see this playing out? I don't know. I honestly, this one's going to be a little hard to predict, but Camel can battle, mm-hmm. you know? So I feel like whatever energy that he needs to bring, he will bring in his own way. Right. You know? Because he can dance and fucking can <laughs> like. Right, right. Okay. And, I, and I've definitely seen as as of late, you know? Camel, there's definitely a fire lit on you. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, like yeah. He's been training hard. his understanding of his approach to the dance. It's mm-hmm. like going deeper and deeper, mm-hmm. you know? So for you, does this, so it's, so I guess three options that we have. Do we have, does it look like old school, super creative wavy camo? Are we going to get Playboy camo? Or does this look like a new reinvented camo? Maybe a new reinvented. Okay. But honestly, all those different options that you listed are feels right mm. it's, it's honestly going to depend on the music and the environment and whatever he's feeling yeah. he's feeling wavy like you know you're going to wave his ass off right you right. know right. if he feels like fucking if he feels like a fucking playboy you know he's going to strut and like <laughs> like it just depends on the the vibe 
that he's gonna go for, you know? All right. But regardless, like, Camo, I feel like his battle's gonna push him, and I'm excited to see that push. Absolutely, I agree. I definitely, um, I think this will definitely be a push for Camo as well. Um, Camo's no stranger, or I'm sorry, for Spartan as well. He's no stranger to open style jams. You know, he's gone overseas and in Japan, he's done them. You know, been in France, all over the world. He's even done them. Like, he battled E Solo, you know, out in the NY. You know, so as far as in terms of adapting to music, you know, funk is, and it's not to pander or anything like that, but like, funk is natural to black people. Right. Like, you know, it's just, it's a comfort zone. It's kind of, it's culture. It's what we grow up in. So I definitely think that, like, learning to adapt to that is simply just, getting more comfortable with it, you know, or understanding the music as a whole, so, um, Just switching up the feel, exactly, so I think, um, I think this is gonna be a very, very intense matchup, man, yeah. like, I don't, the Spartan's not gonna go easy, I, I, I don't all. see him rolling on Spartan, cause, like, you know, of course, you know, unfortunately, he did have an accident, he's been very low-key, you know, these last couple of years and stuff like that, but I'm, really looking forward you know to him making a comeback and in this type of environment as well man you know what i'm saying and of course this pandemic has had everybody down for a while so you know everybody kind of got cabin fever so i'm i'm definitely curious because i ain't seen camel dance in a while as well and you know everybody always talks about you know the creative wavy camel you know kind of back in the day and stuff like that you know so and it definitely feels like you know since John joining Playboys, it's been definitely a growing process for him, but also as well kind of like a I don't want to say like a rebirth, but almost like a You're just exploring a new field. There we go. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? In order it? to like explore something new, you gotta put away or you know tone back on or pull back on what you've been working on to work on something else. Gotcha. So Rishi Bay who said no waves. So no, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> no waves. All tuts. All struts. That's it. Come in your, your zoot suit and your hush puppies yeah. and all that. Have your Playboy jacket on or your vest or however. I don't know y'all got all types of clothing and stuff like that. So That's going to be dope. Yeah, I'm man. Excited. So it's a... Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot definitely happening here. And I don't, I don't think... I, maybe I didn't mention this one. So they have... Axel versus Junior Judge. AP. Axel versus AP. I don't know who Axel is. Okay. Well, just because I don't know, I'm going to go with Judge or AP. Just for that one, because I'm not sure who sure, who sure, that is. But there's a lot of them on here, man, that I'm just kind of like, it's too good of an opportunity to pass up. Like, you guys definitely got to make sure that you come out. Like, again, it's this weekend. September the 11th, um, Houston, obviously, 5 o'clock. It's going to be at the uh, Garage 713 Studio. It's $5 to get in, um, and it's free if you purchase a T-shirt. Okay, so it's it's not expensive. Come on out here. Y'all, y'all got to come out here and see this event, Crumping versus Popping. Yeah, I'm coming to talk some shit. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Not to mention, we also have, um, we have two OGs that are teaching workshops. We have Solo uh, and Easy E um, that are going to be teaching workshops. Uh, I've never, I don't know who Easy E is. Um, if I get there in time, I might just slide through. I don't know, but we definitely going to see. But what do you think, man? Closing remarks, bro? Um, Any, anything that you would like to see based off of? After hearing all this, what what would what's one thing that you want to see? I want to see people proving us wrong. I want to see battles go the opposite of what we <laughs> think is going to go, because honestly, that's what makes it exciting. You know, I want to I want to see that hard push. Hmm. And I know it's just an exhibition, but still, I want to see like that hunger. We were talk, I'm talking about that with some people, talking with Flux about that, and we are saying exactly that. Like, I think Texas kind of needs to be shaken up a little bit again. Because it's, it's kind of funny, because of course, we the last event uh, that was hosted um, um, by Skello, um, the Bugging Out event, which of course you judged, 
fucking Houston came in there and won both categories, the open style and the breakers. So in my personal opinion, they kind of, kind of, kind of had you blow on edge a little bit. So I definitely think it's like, all right, we got to go back to Houston and we got to win two of their, their genres of dance back to back. So, man, I'm ready for some competition, man. So, so where can we, where can we find you at? What's, what's, what's next for you, man? What's, what's, what's going down? Where can we find Riff next? I mean, I'll probably be at the event. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you know. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Hopefully, I don't get called out too bad for what I said in this video. Oh, hey, yeah, I'm always here for the rounds, okay? <laughs> always ready. There you go. That's, that's what it is. That's, that's what it is. But appreciate y'all rocking with us. King Siler, Mr. Riff, thank you for joining me. Again, make sure you guys come out this weekend, September the 11th. That's this Saturday. 5 p.m. at the Garage 713 Studio, crumping versus popping. We've given you our reviews. We've told popping and crumping what they need to do to win. If you don't listen, it's your fault. Hopefully you don't get smoked. But if you do, I will be there to interview after it's all over. So I'm here for you. Appreciate y'all rocking with us. Have a good evening. Peace.